Pam Param Pararararam. Welcome to the assembling. <laughs> assembling, yeah. Yeah, you already saw the unboxing, so this is just the assembling. So, yeah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Pick on a Dime with Sha, and this is the assembling. <laughs> Anywho. Let's dive right into it. So you guys already saw me unboxing it. So you, you pretty much already know everything that's in it. It's just uh, a camera. Please forget, forgive the nails. These are my um, holiday nails. <laughs> <laughs> I went vacation nails. These are vacation nails. Yeah, that's how they look before they are done. So please forgive them. Anywho, let's concentrate so this is just a video about an amateur say you've been gifted uh, a camera like me and you're figuring out how to assemble it for the first time like i was so this is me trying to give you a few tips so first comes the actual camera it's wrapped in a very nice bubble bubble film that one and then there is this other protective paper inside um and voila here is the actual camera this is how it looks like yeah it's really pretty i love how small it is i love how portable it is yeah so i got just you know no expert advice no expertise behind it just a normal person seated on her bed trying to assemble something she has gotten for the first time <laughs> so please bear with me and with my excitement and then there's this this is the lens okay this didn't come like this it was wrapped just like the camera was with that cap protective film and this bubble wrap exactly like it was don't ask me where mine are i have no idea but yeah this is how it looks like so it has two lids one at the bottom one at the top as you can see the, this is the i don't know technically which side is supposed to be the top and the bottom but as you can see these are two different leads covering the lens i'm thinking it's because it's very fragile and important that's why it needed two leads right um then now let's reopen this one and see how to assemble it so you open that carpet and then you also open the lens like i said it is very well protected i think it's probably one of the most important parts of the camera right <laughs> yeah so you open this lower lid it's just like the one that was covering the other one and if you look at it closely but first before we get into it let's uh, look at what else is in here so there are two cords these are the chargers uh, and this is battery yeah this is the katini battery it is also very nicely protected as you can see with this car small film yeah that's <laughs> imagine that's just it that's the car battery it's tiny and yeah that's it so um then there is this second part of the charger these are things i learned along the way by the way guys after opening and reopening and messing up one or two times <laughs> that is how i figured out what these things are so this is part of the charger how you charge your battery you see yeah, it just looks like that just pick this battery and put it inside here where the arrow is pointing it is actually very practical because the arrow is pointing at exactly where it is supposed to go in so you just place it in there and then once you've made sure it has fit well and it is not falling out you put this charger thing is these cables do we call them cables what do you call them this one it goes through here and yeah it's ready to charge as you can see this cable is really long it is so long and it is it has three plugs you can see the normal this is the normal one that we usually use it is very efficient and very easy to use anywhere right yeah this 
this is it and it's actually the, my favorite if you ask me because you can charge from a very long distance yeah it is a bit tightly fitting but there is another one it actually comes with two different charges charging cables i mean here is the second one this one is a bit less bulky and it is shorter if you if you don't need a long one yeah but does the exact same thing only difference is that it's two plugged at the end instead of three plugs it is two plugged i think that's the only difference the length and the fact that this one is two plugged and then when it's charging you can see there are two parts here one will be showing charging then the other one will show when it's full so when it's charging it shows orange when it's full it shows green yeah that's it and then once you're done you just remove it just press it a little bit and it comes out just like that let's assemble the camera here's the actual camera here's the lid the one i was telling you about that's protecting the camera so we start by getting that lid off you see yeah you get it off exposing the car shiny part <laughs> with a lens inside i'm thinking this part must be very delicate because for me i always figure that parts that are covered are delicate right yeah so um we're going to figure out how to assemble this lens and put it back there so as i told you before it is covered both sides on both sides this is the i assumed this was the upper part and the other one was the bottom part <laughs> So here's how you know which part goes where, right? Yeah, let's dust that off a bit. Here's how you know. The lens on this end has these two teeth. These two teeth. You see the gold colored two teeth. And so does the camera. So it is easy to tell where it is supposed to go in. You see, right? So you just put, make sure that they are in line. And then you twist very carefully, very slowly. Don't force it. Please don't force it. And voila, it's good. Yeah, it's ready. And that's it. And imagine you don't have to force it. It just like slides in and you just like, you know, firmly put, place it there. And then you open this upper part. So you just simply squeeze like those two ends. You squeeze a little bit and then it comes off. You see, place it back, squeeze a little bit, comes off. As simple as that you see just those two ends and that's it so that way you get to open the actual lens the part where you you use to focus like i said i'm not a tech guru nothing even close to it this is just me explaining how to use a camera as an amateur like i am then obviously the camera will not work without a battery so this is where you place the battery you just press slightly pull it out and it pops open just like that and then the battery that you have already charged you place inside there again of course you look at the two teeth marks and you just make sure you they have the two directions and the two pictures drawn in there on how to place it so just don't force it if it doesn't go in the first time know you're placing it wrongly and just you know turn it and recheck and then there's this gray thing that automatically locks when you place the battery inside and then you just flip it that's it you're good to go imagine and then there's this kapat you see this yes just press it and open <laughs> it's a, it looks like a lid but it's not really a lid it's the lens and i think it's really it's very helpful especially when you're taking pictures or videos so all you have to do is press a little bit like i did and flip it open you see yeah just always keep it clean it's very delicate so of course handle it with care i mean here's the fun part it can turn you see it can turn it can turn like that you can turn it to whichever direction you like tricky part is you have to know which side you're turning it to because there's one direction where it goes like a uh, three six uh 360 and then there's another direction it only goes 180 so you should be very careful not to force it. But then once you're done turning it on the 360 direction, you can just place it like that, you see? And again, like I said, this is a very easy camera to use. Look, there's an on and off button, like typically on, off. So you just switch on and it's on, you see? And then, like I said, I don't know how to use a camera. I've been around people using cameras. I love taking pictures, but I'm just learning. So it has an automatic like a green automatic part where it just literally 
gets all the settings ready for you. Huh? You see, like as soon, as long as it's on the automatic, that green automatic part, all the settings are ready. So all you just do is switch on and start taking your pictures. Imagine. That's it. You just switch it on and you start taking your pictures because it will focus. It will just, it just, <laughs> it is a literally point and shoot thing, you know, point and click because it's an automatic camera. And I really love that about it. And before we can learn how to use all the settings and calibrate and change everything that we want to know about it and make things better, we'll just go on and use the automatic. And as soon as you're done, you just switch it off just like that you don't have to press save you don't have to press anything just switch it off and then there's the zoom it is very easy you just roll it in and out just like that you know spin it in and out in and out and then once you're done don't forget to close that carpet you know the lens it's fragile so remember to turn it again and lock it you know and of course your camera is already off yeah i think that's about it now you're already using your camera, you already know how to use it, but you want to make sure it is safe. That, Like we said, it's very fragile, so you don't want it to fall down. So there's this really nice fancy strap they have for it. If I'm being honest, I haven't really figured out how this is supposed to be done because it looks a bit intricate if you ask me. But I think the main idea behind it is just to make sure it's firm, you know? I think it's like tying shoelaces. There is no right way of doing it as long as they are firm and they don't and you don't trip over them, right? So I think that's the same thing for the camera. As long as um you can tie it firmly and make sure that it's in place so that it doesn't fall, that works, right? So figure out your own way of doing it. <laughs> As long as it's firm, as long as you can tell it can't fall off, that's the whole idea. But if I ever do figure out how to tie it up the right way, <laughs> I'll definitely let you know. Because for instance, you can see there are these two, two things here. I'm sure I was supposed to use, but I have no idea how to. <laughs> and finally, finally, there's this, this. <laughs> this this is where the mem card was i forgot to tell you the camera will not work without a memory card so the same place you you placed the battery there's a slot for a memory card you see right beside it and there's even like a small picture showing you where to place it and finally darlings you are ready to shoot you're ready to take your fast pictures even if they are amateur ones like this ones these are some of the first ones i took i was so excited i hope uh, that this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe Mwah, nothing but love Mwah,